Well, one of the questions that is striking at this time is why President Muhammad Buhari has left Bola Metinobu to campaign for himself. And he's not, we, we are not seeing that, you know, like we saw during the time of Obasanjo to Yaradwa. In 2006-2007, Obasanjo was seen all over the country campaigning for the PDP presidential candidate, late Musa Yaradwa, passionately, despite not having a strong, formidable opposition then. This is not applicable in today's politics, where a sitting president is nonchalant or less passionate about the 2023 presidential election. The only time Buhari was seen with Tinubu was during presidential, APC presidential campaign flag off that took place in Jos. Is Buhari so busy delivering uh, the dividend of democracy to Nigerians, or has he given up on Nigeria politics, judging by his previous statement where he urged Nigerians to vote whoever or party? they like well i would just drop my thoughts on this particular one well don't forget please to please share our videos with others like our videos drop a comment make them simple and civil well like i said um i feel president muhammad Buhari is is going to leave a lasting le legacy and he's working on that passionately it is obvious from all indication that president muhammad Buhari is not going to be in to do anything messy with the 2023 general election Yes, you know, with all this one that the current APC presidential candidate is doing, you know, with a team and all of that. Uh, like I said, these people that he calls a team were already were in, are already in the government. Some of them are some former governor, like the former governor of Ikita State, and also we we have um, the sitting governor of Kaduna State, and all of them former governor of Edo State, uh, former national chairman of the APC, and all of that. You know, who have been in the system before. So why? Well, what's what's new about this? Funny team, you know, as it were. He talked about Delia Lake, who was a former commissioner in, uh, you know, in Lagos State and all of that. And so, what are we? What's what's new about what is what what what, what they are saying? But then we see President Muhammad Buhari to have, you know, like he like he's he's um, he's retired into his cocoon, and one is wondering what he's doing. You know, like this person said, whether he has become nonchalant about politics and all all of that. Well. Um, I feel strongly that um, President Muhammad Buhari has a plan, and the plan is good for the good of Nigerians. I believe I believe that. So you are free to drop a comment, make them simple and simple. That's all you need to do. Just, just because look at look at look at what we had. Look at what we had during during President Muhammad Zojo and um, late Musa Yaradua. You know when he he followed him everywhere. He followed him everywhere. Unlike this particular case where, you know, uh, well, I, I, I will not forget and I would want to remind you that there was, just before the presidential primaries of the APC, there were, there were talks about reaching a consensus, having a consensus candidate, um, the favorite of the president and all of that, you know. And there was in the news then that uh, this current um, uh, their, their candidate said he was not going to step down for anybody and all of that. Well, every other person stepped down for him and the other few who actually ran with him in the race. But then he won, as it were. He won. Uh, he is their candidate anyway. He won their presidential ticket. But then uh, one, one still wonders, why is President Mahmoud Obari not to... He's not, you know, let's do the comparison. Drop a comment, make them simple and simple. Are you seeing something that I'm not seeing? But then I just feel it's something that we should talk about. This is serious matters on the TV. Please do share videos with others. Like our videos, drop a comment, make them simple and simple. Well, uh, like like I said, President Muhammad Wari has a plan, and it's a good plan for Nigeria. He has started it. Let me repeat again. He, he signed the electoral bill. He, uh, you know, um, he changed the currency, you know, changed the face of the Nile to reduce vote buying. He has also said times and again that you should vote for anybody you like, any party that you like. And he has reiterated that he's going to hand over to whoever wins, regardless of the party and the person. Uh, and to make matters more interesting, the, the chairman of INEC is, you know, insisting, has insisted that the Beavers machine will be used. I mean, what else do we want? Now, let's, let's, let's just drop our comment, make them simple and simple. Let us know what you feel about this particular one. Uh, do you think President Muhammad Bari has become not challenged about, um, you know, elections and all of that? Drop a comment, please. Let us know. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.